All right, guys. Hello. This is just going to be a um, a quick showcase of my airship design. Um, now I spent a few days experimenting and figuring out how the hell airships work. Um, and by that I mean I basically had to figure out how to make an inchworm um, type design that'll move on its own. And then I tried to like combine them so they can move multiple directions. You know that whole mess. It took. A lot of experimenting as you can see like these are about half the designs because I would just delete them like I just break them and then start a new one sometimes um, but anyway this is the smallest design I've come up with so far I could probably shrink it down one more anyway but I think this is also one of the smallest designs um, that anyone has ever built <laughs> as far as I know this is five by four by five um, that includes the solar panels and the battery and, um, you know, all of the wiring and such. So, you know, that is much smaller than most of the other sizes I've ever seen before. And it's very easy to work with. I've also written a program uh, that is quite massive, which took a wild write. Um, I can do a tutorial for that as well as like a tutorial for this if you guys want me to. And here we go. So I've just set the current x to be 0, the current z to be um, 0, 98 to be the current y, 100 to be the destination y, 5 to be the destination z, and negative 5 to be the destination x. So that'll move 5 in this direction, 5 toward me or away from me, I don't know which way z is really. And then the y will end up moving um, up to overall. And now that I've programmed those in, uh, the program will just take care of the rest. So yeah, as you can see, it'll just go on its own. Um, so this is very simple for the user to work with. Uh, but it did take a long time to write, so, you know, this isn't something that you'll just figure out in five minutes. Um, and I would probably want to do tutorial on fourth in general as well, just to, um, clarify how exactly to make this and bringing it back is going to be a bit annoying I'm going to actually leave the uh, current ones in well the go will end eventually just give it a bit uh, yeah it's a bit derping um, but yeah the program's a tiny bit buggy at the moment I can fix it without too much trouble uh, I'm actually just going to uh, I don't want to have to reset it damn it <laughs> Uh, I'll be back in a second once the program thinks it's over because I think I added an infinite loop by accident somewhere in there. Alright, now then. Um, yeah, I didn't actually bother reprogramming it, but I just stuck in um, this, so that'll be set back to zero. It'll say the current Y is 100. It'll go back to 98, and that'll just undo these commands by being the opposite. And go. Okay, and in case you're wondering, um, this is actually programmed to sort of work on hillsides, whereas um, if your Y is at 100 or above, it will start off by going up 5 to like clear a mountain or a building or something, and then at the very end it'll go back down those 5, and then down if it needs to more, up if it needs to, or something like that. Um, it's a bunch of math and variables. <laughs> it's a lot of crap. Um, so this will go back eventually. Um, but anyway, actually that might be a bit bugged out too. Either way, I need to fix the programs, but I'll get to that in a bit, you know. Um, here I'll just pull up the words list so that you can see how many things I've had to do. Um, so here's where, wait, where is the actual things I need? Oh. Here's where they start, and all the way back up this list to um, go, because these are just text things, like if I do help, there you go. Um, so that is the help page. Uh, and I'll try to figure out how to make it into a prompt, but you know, that's not a huge concern at the moment. Um, so yeah, it's bugged out a bit. It kind of just bugs out when it's above 100 for some reason, yeah programming um, but I'll fix that before I upload any tutorials on the programming and such so yeah guys that was the airship it's real tiny 
and it does whatever you want, <laughs> basically. Anyway, guys, uh, you know, I'll see you next time in the tutorial video. Thanks so much for watching. Well, I mean, actually, you guys tell me what tutorials you want, and then I'll make those. So, yeah. You know, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment on the video, like the video. Um, you know, I make videos pretty regularly, in my opinion, you know, like three times a week or something. Uh, is what I try to go for, because I can't do them daily anymore. Uh, I just have things to do in real life. It's, you know, a bit of an issue, but whatever. So, anyway, I will see you guys later. And uh, thanks so much for watching. You know, I'll see you in the next tutorials.